I will show you how to use our integration of Google Sheets and the next generation level printing system. If you've installed our add-on, you can simply select the next generation label printing system in the add-ons menu and then click on start. The first thing you've got to do is to sign in to your next generation label printing system account. Click on sign on and then authorize us to use the Sheets integration. The so next thing you've got to do is to update the list of available designs, which is of course empty if you do that the first time. So let's create a new design. When creating a new design, we automatically transfer the current sheet onto the uh, next generation label printing system and open up with the page attributes which tell you how many labels are on a sheet of paper. Let's say we have two horizontally and like it five vertically. And then we can select also that we have the data which is already included from the um, data we transferred and now say we need a label count and the label count can be dynamic data and that label count depends on one of the fields we have in each record which is a count field like let's make a sample value yeah and voila we're done the next thing we do is that we um Clear that count field and let's move the fields around a little bit. Well, I think the most important thing is the item description. We move it up here. We can easily grow that field. Then we have a price field. Move somewhere to the left or to the right and then we do a barcode field. All these fields are imported as text fields and actually we don't want to use text fields for what we're going to do. So we actually insert another field which is a barcode field. That barcode field is based of dynamic data. We take the barcode and select a sample value. Now we have a barcode field and can bring that barcode field somewhere on our label. Now we can delete the text field and we do exactly the same thing with the uh, price field. We have a special price field. No, that's a price field. We delete that maximum field we don't need. We have that price field, move it somewhere on the label. Double click on that and say we have um, a price, we have dynamic data. That dynamic data is in the price field. Select a sample value. And for the price format, we say we want to have it American style. But we don't want to print the decimal point. And for positioning, we uh, align it to the east. With the original field. So, do you have these both fields uh, with the same um, height? We mark both of them and edit them. Sorry. And added them with a line button. This one goes, we align the right part. Let's give it a try. Use the data we have already provided. 
And that's how all levels will look like. Pretty cool. In order to see where the actual label is, we insert a um, box so that we see a little bit of the background. We have the fields in a specific order above each other and we could bring the uh, box below the other fields and then give the box a color. Maybe make it a very light color. And a width of zero, which means that the box is completely filled with the color. And if we now run it again, there we go. We have the labels produced with all the data in. Next, we store, we save that design and go over to our spreadsheet. Now we could uh, have that design here selected and say we only want a few of our records selected. So we select some records. Print the selected records. Go for the job queue. and see that we only have part of these um, spreadsheet data transmitted and processed. If you actually have a cloud printer connected, you could also use that cloud printer in the uh, Pro Edition. So you can actually print without uh, touching another button. Thank you.